uh, stuff they put but this alien theory you cannot dismiss it within two years you need to do more research you cannot uh, show the picture of this guy mikai kaku and richard hoagland and say the entire ufo uh, you know conspiracy research is uh, a, a reverse government's uh, psyop you know there are hundreds and thousands of examples uh, you are guilty of doing the same thing that the others uh, did to you when you were you know trying to prove your flat earth so i would really like to uh, uh, tell eric to you know don't uh, pick the weakest opponent uh, try to be a man and do the, some real research like you do for flat earth and i would really like to debunk here that that's a man telling flat earth researchers to be men and do some proper research it's pretty interesting about fleeing strider do you think the, this guy like his body looks like something that he faked his own death how come his body is totally you know black and blue and how horribly the u.s government murdered him and claimed that he he was suicided you know so i would really like uh, eric if he wants to debunk aliens to pick on the real stuff not fake mikai kaku even we hate this guy this is such a laughable thing and he's picking up you know uh, the roswell uh, and uh, and uh, what eric wanda and i can uh, wonder bomb brown said about ufos and uh, project blue beam and uh, the last card will be fake alien invasion card so he is picking up the weakest opponent that we already know is like you know government's eye up to debunk the existence of alien but he is never picked as i told in my last video about aliens he will never pick on phil snyder because it's very very hardcore truth and yes you can see even today if you watch his video there are many likes than dislikes he was a real hero of you know exposing the alien agenda and deep underground military bases so i would really like eric to watch this whole video and then debunk it phil snyder last speech two months before his assassination so why the hell you know government us government will kill him if aliens are fake why the government will go to such an extent to murder him and yes you can see before the flat earth became around 2015 he was the number one you know research topic in town he has 360 he has even 600 hear that before the flat earth came along uh he was the number one um research topic but the government don't want people to find out um that he's telling the truth so they bring out the flat earth like as if as if that is remotely um important in any way it is is just so down the scale of things even if there's some truth in it who really cares but um the same people who are militant flat earthers will reject um people who have gone through hell in their lives to tell people the truth um about the nephilim the fallen angels 100,000 uh, views 638,000 views about talking about alien bases in america and how american government in hell bent on destroying him Uh, this is how he died, guys. Phil Snyder died on January seventeen, nineteen ninety-six. Reportedly strangled by a catheter found wrapped wrapped around his neck. The bizarre death being dismissed by the authorities as suicide. If the circumstances of his death seems highly controversial, they are matched by the controversy over his public statement utterly shortly before his death. You can read this uh, history, guys. Uh, how he was murdered. Finally, Phil Snyder lamented that the democracy he loved no longer exists. We have been a become instant technocracy ruled by shadow government intent on imposing their own view on, of things on all of us he believed 11 of his best friends and had been murdered in the last 22 years eight of whose deaths have been officially explained as suicide whatever one might think of his nadas claim it's clear that he was of particular interest to the fbi and cia his fido has stated that intelligence agents thoroughly searched the premises shortly after his death and made off with at least a third of the family photograph so uh, it is very like you know he is uh, eric dubey is completely guilty of picking the weakest opponent that we don't even endorse you know uh, the, who is this guy to uh, is spoke for this is a shill we already know eric is a shill why are you picking the weakest number why don't you pick these guys who are already dead and who are trying to expose the existence of alien because this is too hard right you cannot debug this easily by saying that he had a dmt experience he was taking ayahuasca as to you are trying to uh, debunk uh, the phenomena of aliens and then this guy credo mutua as you can see uh, he, like, before uh, like the flat earth yeah. came 
uh, he had everybody agreed to him like he has 500000 views yeah. and he, you you need to watch all his 6 hours videos and then try to say that uh, uh, then try to debunk the phenomena of aliens because uh, he is surely not uh, from america he's try he's just a shaman you know a, a zulu shaman from south africa so this would be very hard uh, to debunk uh, that is what we love we need to debunk that is very hard not mikai kaku which we know is actual and you are talking about you know uh, all this uh, ufos are you know yes sir you but you never contacted a real ufo because this guy never came online you know never was interviewed by the shill uh, alternative media alak like new world co evolution so this guy is from new zealand and you really need to uh, read his experience of aliens and how he was a ufo abductee and contactee so once you read this co evolution by alec newald you will uh, know you know about the phenomena of aliens because this guy you never know you are only talking about the uh, lame stream uh, ufologists which we know are the shills you need to do more research you know i i really think uh, and what about this jonathan reed and his experience with aliens so please do research on jonathan reed and try to debunk him as everyone is trying to do and about what about the dogon tribes of africa who knew about sirius b star and do you think do you think this is also due to ayahuasca you know and this as i said why i don't understand why like what is the point of showing this guy as ufo the spokesperson of ufo we do not even approve you know he is not even a part of ufo or yeah well i mean i think he's uh expounded quite a lot there and uh makes a lot of sense to me certainly you know um this is a video I uploaded yesterday about television which i believe it's still in the top five mind control devices in the world as you can see it's actually been uploaded but it's not processed yet from yesterday so it looks as if it's not going to go through and uh you see the Nephilim Occupation, the Dulce Wars documentary, Philip Snyder, just taken down without um, without notice. There, there was no copyright on the video to begin with, you see. And then all of a sudden, they just put a C on it, a copyright on it, and take it down all at the same time. Uh, so, as far as I understand it, there's been no videos taken off YouTube. Um, with regard to copyright law for flat earth videos. There's no flat earth video being removed from YouTube and yet there's so many of uh, Philip Schneider's videos and other um, real videos which uh, are about uh, about this topic here, you see? So something to think about I would say. Thanks for watching again. God bless.